Welcome back uh, to Jeff by Dragons. I'm once again here with the magnificent Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Steve. <laughs> um, I have. <laughs> well, I laugh like that. Um, I've made my uh, garage a bit nicer. We've got a green screen behind us, uh, which means I can be showing anything there. I can be showing your terrified face from the first video. Yeah. <laughs> just on loop. Can we just, uh, just for the confirmation of the worried uh, viewers that contacted me, confirm you are here voluntarily? Yes, voluntarily. That's right. Um, which is not the most comfortable in front of the camera. <laughs> say. No, no, I'm fine in front of a camera. It's just next to you. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the uncomfortable touching. Sorry, yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, fresh from UK Masters. Have yeah. a good time? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was really well run. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, that was brilliant. Up until the double one that ruined your... Uh, yeah, ruined I don't your want life. to talk about that. Don't want to talk about that. You can watch it on my channel if you like. It was game four. Four. Yeah. Game four. That uh, plummeted you. Where did you end up? Uh, I ended up 10th, so it's not too bad. Pretty good. The room. Yeah. I wasn't in it at all. So uh, he's come back to thrash me again. So fresh from my defeat at the last uh, game. You once again bought Bastlands? Yes, but a very different army this time. Very different army. And we unintentionally created a narrative uh, battle report. Not quite sure how that happened. But I'm playing my Kingdoms of Men, which I've lovingly timed uh, the Kingdoms of Men. Because they're. Mm. Um, they are all Mantics, they're all Basileans, mostly Basileans, apart from a few kind of special characters. And so um, the story behind my arm, I've got a story. That's cute. <laughs> um, um, is that these are renegade uh, Basileans who've fallen under the thrall of a dragon, who is the monarch, right? And, um, and that's where all the banners are dragons and stuff. But they are Basileans, and Rich's army is also Basileans. So maybe you've come to slaughter the unbelievers. Yeah, hopefully. That's the intent. Mm, that would probably happen. And there is quite a few men at arms. So it's men at arms versus men at arms. And uh, yeah, they're kind of similarly, <laughs> very similar. Kind of glad that it's from top down. You won't, we'll be pointing very heavily at this one is mine, this one is Rich's, because there's a lot of walls and Mine will be the ones left on the table. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for that. Um, cool. Uh, so we'll get on with it. We know what we're playing yet because we haven't rolled it, but you know we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, let's have a look at the army. This played 1995 points, 1995 points. Because I'm going to the tournament. Are you coming to the tournament? To the tournament? No, not this one. No, right. I have to go on holiday. Okay, you don't have to. I mean, it's probably quite nice to go on holiday. Yeah. Yes. yes. You could be. You could be coming to Burton on Trent. Woo! Centre parks, Burton on Trent. Centre parks, Burton on Trent. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the army lists. Right then, off we. Go. So these are my kingdoms of men. This uh, video, if you're interested uh, in chronology, which I, I know you are, uh, I'm actually recording this the day before I go to the tournament we just talked about in in lovely Burton on Trent. Um, we, but we filmed this battle report a couple of weeks ago, and the reason it's taking me a couple of weeks is because well, first I needed to finish painting my army. Uh, and then when I finished painting my army, because I'm very obsessive and I did nothing but paint my army every evening for like a month um, to get it done, uh, I needed a break. And so I played a video game for the last yeah, week and travelled for work and stuff. So uh, the video game, if you're interested, no one's interested. Uh, if you are interested, send me a message. I was Cloudpunk. I'll tell you now, it was good. I, I enjoyed it very much. Um, yeah, and so, and now I'm cracking on with this because tomorrow I'm going to the tournament when I'm going to take obviously, obviously lots of pictures, which I will then want to do a tournament report. So the video after this will be the tournament report that I'm preparing for in this battle. Well, you anyway, know, moving on. This is my Kings of Men. Uh, so uh, they are, at the core of them is uh, so the Monarch, which is the dragon who's got Crown of Chivalry, so which is the rallying two for knights, and he has his, or its, um, like knights, uh, monarchs, like king's guard, which is the foot guard. So we have two regiments and a horde of foot guard, uh, all of which have got indomitable will. So indomitable will is the upgrade that allows them to uh, ignore being so become fearless for a turn, essentially, become fearless for a turn. So those regiments are pretty meaty at 60 and 18 when they rallied. So that's pretty sweet. Hits on threes. Then we've got a horde of militia mob, uh, which are just worse goblin rabble because they're defense three um 1821 nerve very poor and then we have um uh, the hitty part which is three regiments of fanatics uh, so one has got sharpness one has got uh, chance of hate for vicious and one has got blessing of the gods for elite i have two ballista because they're fantastic um and um two uh, and then an army standard bearer with the loot for bane chant two 
A little life leech aura that I constantly forget, but that's pretty fun. And I've got a flying, um, a fanatic instigator, uh, who is a very nice melee hero. Dash 14 is very strong. Six attacks. Um, he's got wings of honey maze. A little flying deterrent guy, a hero on Pegasus. Another flying deterrent guy, who can also score a general on winged beast, who's like a mini dragon. He's jolly good. And then the monarch. So that's uh, 14 units, 26 units strength. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's quite fun. It's very simple. It doesn't do a lot. There's not a lot of shooting in it. There's just the ballistas. Um, and yeah, so it's a very melee focused arm, which is quite fun. And this is Rich. Rich has um, been doing very well with Basileans um, on the national scene. Um, he's a very, very good player. But this is a very different Basilean. He was just trying something out. So kind of a whole melee focused Basilean list. So... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say he's dumbing down his list for me. I'll take it. Uh, he's got a horde of spearmen. So they're very, very uh, normal. So they have got a uh, phalanx, which is nice. 2022 nerve is nice. 30 attacks, so that's good. Uh, and then he's got three regiments of paladin foot guard. So one of them... They've all, they've all got uh, two-handed weapons, which gives them defense four and crush one. Um, and then the final one, he's given them paladin defenders, and that gives them an aura of elite... For Paladin Infantry only. Right, so Paladin Infantry only. So the Paladins, that would be the Paladin Foot Guard. Right. Uh, two troops of Sisterhood Scouts. A horde of Ogre Palace Guard. Two Gur Panther troops. Very fast. Uh, regiment of Paladin Knights. A Phoenix. Just the one Phoenix. Uh, Bear of the Holy Icon, who I think is just. Oh, he can give uh, um, an Aegis Fragment to uh, any unit within 6 inches or 12 inches or something at the beginning of any turn, which is an additional kind of uh, Iron Resolve point. And he's got Shroud of the Saint for Hill 3. A War Wizard with Inspiring, Bane Chant and Mind Fog. And then Ganaiaia Salustus, uh, who's basically another Knight Regiment on his own. So yeah, so it's a very, very melee focus, very different to the sort of list he plays normally, which has a lot of uh, kind of like fast... Elohi and knights and all that kind of stuff. So let's see how we go. So the camera view we will be experiencing this from is like this, which might feel a bit dizzying. It'll fine. It's fine. Mainly because the main camera that I've got, I have bought a new camera now, which I'm very excited to try it. But the main camera I've got, which is better with this better resolution, um, I can't get high enough in my garage to capture the whole board. So it's a slightly isometric view, which I hope you uh, can tolerate. Um, if you remember blur o vision from the last battle, but we don't want that. Uh, so we've got two height three hills, one at the top and, there, and one in the middle there, and then two height nine pieces of blocking terrain. So this one down the bottom is some rocks, and this one's a little tower. We've got two height six forests, a couple of height flat pieces uh, of uh, um, difficult terrain, and then some walls like that. Uh, the other view, if you're interested, we do have a second view, but because I couldn't be bothered to find my long cable, uh, my long uh, USB cable, it's from the same end. You know, a bit just like that. That's blurry vision. You'll recognise that if you watch my last battle report. Uh, the uh, rather blurry camera, but it just gives you a slightly better view. It's quite clear. A little bit blurry. Um, so we will switch to that occasionally if we need to for view, but I very, very thoughtfully didn't deploy down the other end. Though I could have deployed down the far end of the board, but it would have been bad, really, because you can't really uh, see long. Um, so we are playing control, which is my least favourite scenario, because you have to think, and I'm not good at thinking. But if you're not sure what control is, it's the one where you split the board into six sections, a bit like this. And then at the end of the game, you score a point for every section you hold, uh, but two points for your opponent's section. This is me on the right-hand side, in my fetching garden trainers there. Um, and uh, you see I've floored my garage. Fetching, isn't it? Nice. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so the, uh, this, from my point of view, I get two points for scoring the centre section on Rich's side. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, let's crack on then and watch our deployment. Okay, so we start off this game. So we're playing control. I uh, win size and deploy first. And I put down my bolt throwers first. So uh, arbalests, whatever they are. Um, ballistas. And the reason I do this is because I think there's two ways to play war machines, right? Um, and those are either um, damage dealing or area denial. Okay, if you put them down first... What you're essentially saying is this arc of fire. So if you imagine a big triangle kind of like here. Um, this arc of fire is going to be under fire for the entire game. All right. So essentially what I'm trying to do 
is to discourage Rich from putting anything over on this top corner of the board. That being because I want to put one of my higher unit strength units up there. I do eventually, eventually put it up there. I put my uh, militia mob up there. And I want them to have an uncontested run of that side of the board so I can claim either of the top two segments at the end of the game without much of a worry. Because uh, contrary to, to most of Rich's Basilean lists, this is a very slow one. There's some fast elements, but largely it's infantry. Um, so he's not going to be able to, to, to kind of redeploy the way that Basileans do. And that kind of plays out. So uh, what he's put down, he's put kind of his large amount of kind of paladins and knights here, kind of in the center behind the woods. Um, and he's put right down the bottom here in, in this corner. He's got his knights, Nias, and one of the Gurpanther troops. And there's the, the phoenix up supporting behind there. So he's going to kind of swing around. I, I always think with control, you need four points to win. That's always in my head. Four points to win, guaranteed, right? Which is the opponent's center and then three others. So that's maximum. You can win with three. And my plan really is to push up on the top here with this with this horde of um, militia mob. There's nothing but a Gurpanther troop to contest against them, so that's pretty secure. And then uh, fight out in the middle. And the bottom here, I've got um, uh, my Sharpness Fanatics, uh, the Flying Hero, and just the Hero on Pegasus against all of the Nias and stuff. So really, what I'm looking to do is to bring all of my melee troops into the middle, smash as quickly as possible, and then kind of stop him putting through. Uh, let's see how we go. Okay, so the first thing that happens here is that uh, Richard scouts. So he's got his sister scouts, and so up here in these woods, he scouts forward so in case he gets turn one um, he can then immediately start peppering shots into my war machines because i think he's concerned about them as he should be um unfortunately he doesn't win turn one i do hooray and so i crack on so the, my plan uh, i push forward so we have at the top the militia mob goes as far forward as it can because it's only got these Gur panthers right at the top here to worry about and, and they're not worried about them because I think I can outlast them. And then my general long winged beast, kind of my mini dragon, it's right up here. So you see this blocking terrain, the mini dragon just kind of sits here offering a lovely kind of flank view across his forces if he brings them forward. So it's a great place for him to be. And everything else kind of pushes forward in the middle here. Um, Critically, I'm kind of looking at his um, forces here. So if you think about um, his uh, melee forces, so he's got his men-at-arms spearmen, and they are behind these two walls, the big walls here. So they are going to be hindered for a lot of the game, frankly. And, and that I'm um, hitting on fours, hindered, I'm not that concerned about it. What I'm really worried about is his three uh, kind of crushing one melee three guys, uh, paladin knights. Uh, and the Ogre Palace Guard, which are all a block here. And to be honest, I think they outpunch me. Um, so I'm going to try and pepper them with some shots. And what I need to do is to persuade them to engage with my men at arms. And then I'm going to try and flank them with my fanatics. And down the bottom here, so my little uh, uh, flying hero guy, what I thought was called Fanatic Instigator with wings. I managed to pop him right here. You might be able to see it, but right behind this building. So it's a lovely place to be. It allows him to fly over behind the lines and start interfering with uh, characters and such and stopping the phoenix. Uh, my, my hero on peg is just here, just out of 20 from the Gurpanthers, just as a, as a deterrent. But critically, this unit here is my Sharpness Fanatics, and it has the ability to go either into the center to support or down to support at the bottom if he is bolder with his knights and knights, which he's, there's no reason that he wouldn't be. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, try and shoot some stuff. Right, we're going to shoot. That scout troop. Yeah. With whom? Bolt throwers. Cool. For fun. Uh, let's do one at a time. What are you looking for? Fives. It's all concealed. That's one. Four, two. And one. And the other one. It's once. Four, two. All right. Calm down. And hits twice. So three wins. Three wins. Yeah. I didn't do like an army showcase thing. I should have done that. We can still do it, can't you? Yeah. Nothing's died yet. Yeah. Here's the nerf. Five. Eight. Eight. They're fine. Oh, I resolved one. Yeah, I resolved one. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs>
fucking love it. <laughs> Do love it. I, I love it. I can't like mumble because you mic'd me up. I've mic'd you up. Makes me confused. Okay, so that's my turn one when I've remembered to do it. Although without the steady cam, it's going to be able to get it out. Here is Richard. So, Gur Panthers, Nias, and Knights. The Phoenix. And this one is a f- f- Men at Arms. Men at Arms with spears. So, they are um, Phalanx. Not that I've got any flying. Oh, flying's on the other side. They have got a bit of flying. Uh, Ogre Palace Guard. And that's your three regiments of Crush One, Defense Four. And the one with the golden thing has got the elite aura, right? Yeah. And we've got a priest and a wizard hanging out. That's the bearer of the holy icon. Bearer of the holy icon. That's right. For these extra ages fragments. Uh, double sisterhood scouts. And then a little bit of a lonely girl panther on the other side. And then we have my, uh, I'm going to say, militia mob made of sisterhood. And then we have a... So here is a general on wing beast hiding behind this rock. Let's cover the bolt throwers. Then we have three um, foot guard. We call them wherever right they are. Foot guards. Yep. And there's the um, monarch giving them plus two. Or well, those ones plus two. There's three fanatics currently being played by scarecrows because I haven't finished painting them. Uh, and there over there is my hero on peg. It's a nice lady. And then hiding behind here is Mini Julius, who is a fanatic instigator with wings. Yeah, there we go. Right, turn it back to the game. Okay, so for Richard's turn one, so he's essentially abandoned the top of the board. So these Skirt Panthers here have moved away, so it's just ceding these two quarters to me. Uh, and that's because he's moving up all of his melee troops in the centre here. So he's got his scouts in the forest there as chaff, and all of his uh, powerful melee troops are here. Now, I don't think they have Pathfinder, they do have Elite. Um, and the problem is, is that by uh, he's holding out my charge range, apart from the scouts, um, and he's got some relatively effective shooting in the in the um, the body of the Phoenix. Okay, so that Phoenix is a real worry for me uh, because uh, Fanatics are Defense three, uh, and they hate uh, piercing. Uh, non-piercing shoot, any kind of shooting actually. They just melt pretty quickly. On the bottom here, he's kept his cavalry out of range of the hero on peg down here with the Gur Panthers and Nias in range. So that's going to be a slight problem because uh, the hero will get eaten pretty quickly. So I need to start um, closing in and engaging as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to lose this fight. So there's going to be cover here because... You should my orange in. Yeah. Really? I know. Shoot on, ten shot. on the right, yeah? Yeah, shooting on fives. Go for it. Done well? Yep. That's a pretty good one. That's an elf roll. Yep. Um, the second lot shooting the same target, then. Uh, they've made up for it. Uh, defense four. Four. So fours with vicious. Two damage there. I don't know what it is. You've got my list in there. Um, 10 12. I don't think I can quite draw a line of sight. Yeah, they're 10 12. No, they're 9 11, I think. I forget. Yeah, 9 11. I've got more shooting anyway. Phoenix against those. Sure. And fours. Yum. Yum. Then defense free. They are. They fall on them. Yep. I'm going to start with the nerve of the um, ballista. Go for it. All right. Let's calm down. It's dead. Yeah, uh, we have a nine inch. Oh, inspiring, which it was in before I knocked it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a dead again. Hey! Wow, okay. I saw it for the one with the broken thing. Broken guy in it. And then against the Fanatics. Ten twice, I think. Okay. Well, no, so I, I rolled a six. Okay. Oh, I forgot my heal. That's annoying. You can do it now. I'll allow you. Um, thanks. Heal three on my on the Sisterhood Scout. So one back. 
down to one. All right then, turn two, your turn two. All right then, so as I can see, the shooting is already, even though it's so light, imagine if the shooting was worse, terrible. Um, it's very light shooting, but it's still um, being quite punishing. So I need to get kind of stuck in. So uh, top, as, as promised, the militia mob just kind of shuffle. Well, she's not here, yeah, she's stride forward quite confidently. Because what I've seen is that actually, because those Go Panthers are being so kind of spineless and retreating, I have the opportunity to actually push with the militia mob quite hard. I could even flank around uh, that big rock should I need to. I choose not to take the bait of the um, uh, scouts in the wood by attacking them. I think I will allow them to attack me so I can crush them and, and, and then take the charge. Um, I've got enough stuff because what I need to do is kind of sort out this bottom end of the board. So um, I do charge these Gur Panthers down the bottom with my Hero on a Peg for a number of reasons. One is the Hero on Peg is, you know, very cheap, not something uh, I really mind if it gets eaten by things. But also, she's height four, that hero, which blocks Naya. Same height as Naya, so Naya can't see past her. And because he's so close, although he's a square base, which means he's nimble and he can dash, he can dash around, um, he can't see past me, which allows me to then bring this regiment of fanatics into the woods. Um, I brought them relatively close, so I can, you know, if I get a good charge off, and also I've kept my line of arc of sight open, so if he does push forward with his kind of men at arms regiment who's just hiding behind this building, I can also push the other way if needs be. So I've got all three fanatics here in this in this big area here, um, which hopefully should kind of disperse some of those phoenix shots towards them. And then the last thing that I do is I put my little flying instigator, because I've determined he needs to shut down the phoenix, couldn't see anything where he was. So I've literally chucked him. He's gone now behind this building to um, either fly and mess up the priest that keeps on handing out these um, Aegis fragments, so that he's got a he's got a bear of the holy icon and gives that age an additional iron resolve fragment every turn to a unit, and go and either shut him down, um, or more likely fly back and sort out the phoenix, or if needs be, strip the thunderous charge from the cavalry. So he's kind of in a good place. No one can see him. No one can attack him uh, over there. Yeah, and then um, preparing to take some charges on this kind of wall of cavalry on my wall of uh, infantry sitting on the hill. I suppose one of the important things to say here is that normally when you play Basilanes, you're really, really worried about your back line because they've got so much speed 10 flying, they're going to be jumping over. So you have to kind of space your back line and it'll be a little cautious. Um, here he hasn't got any of that, so I can be a lot more bold and flat with my line. I don't need to have layers and layers and things kind of ready for flies in the back row. So that's um, a blessing, a blessing in this particular case. Uh, nope. We miss. Uh, that's my go. Oh no, it's not. I've got a hero on peg. Three attacks on threes and twos. Two hits. And then. Two it's wounds. Got, got wavered all over. It, hasn't it? Hmm. And then a casual. Nine. It's dead once. Eleven. And a six. Oh, Eight. they're not wavered. Not even wavered. Who'd have funk it? Mm. It's your two. Right. Okay, so this is an interesting turn where a few things happen that, that uh, I, I kind of am in two minds about. So I suppose Richard is used to playing cautiously. And I think he's still playing this force, this very melee heavy force, a little bit like he plays his flying force, which is kind of lining all up and then waiting to strike all at once, which is kind of how he wins with the, with the fast army. I think with a melee focused army, um, holding back this much might do him a disservice. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about it. So um, in the middle here, so he does take one of the sisterhood scout uh, uh, troops into my horde. So my horde is sitting right here on the hill, waiting to bounce. It's my, kind of my most dangerous, I guess, of the of those units. It's, you know, 25 attacks on, on threes with the potential for a Bane Charm from the standard bearer. So he takes his troop into that. That's kind of fine, that troop's gonna get murdered because what he's got here is this is the Ogre Palace Guard and these are Paladin Regiments. There's one in the woods, one next to the woods and one behind them sitting in a, a field. They're a little bit close together. 
Um, and he's left it so that I've got um, over here, so he's got his other sisterhood scout regiment, it's here in the woods in front of this one. Um, anything that doesn't have Pathfinder or Strider, um, hitting on threes, particularly because regiments are typically 12 attacks, um, just becomes exponentially worse on fours because there's the risk that, you know, with, with fours you never know what you're going to get, as my friend Russell says. Plus, I've got quite a lot of um, punchy stuff. So I've got my general on winged beast is right up here. I've got, and then I've got two more regiments, one here and one here, of um, my knights, whatever they're called. I've forgotten. Um, and I've got my monarch back here as well, right? And that's not even counting any of the fanatics. So they've got a lot of punchy stuff. So basically, he's given me the opportunity here of throwing away something to get myself in a better position. Because I don't really care about this scout troop in the woods. The general on winged beast can fly over and do unpleasant things. So I think I might, may or may not have a flank on something. Uh, we'll see when I when I move next turn. Um, and he's still got his men at arms regiment kind of behind the wall, all the way over here. Um, now, anyway, so in the middle, I think it's looking more favourable for me because I've just got better pieces to play with. There, I've got more variety of pieces to play with. Uh, down the bottom, though, I did forget that the Gurr Panthers have nimble, so all they did was reverse and turn because they can move so far, allowing Nias and the cavalry to come into my hero on peg. That's not great. Um, the hero on peg is likely to get squelched, um, which leaves me in a vulnerable position on this bottom side. So, uh, going well at the top, less well at the bottom. Sisters are going to shoot your general. All right. So, looking for fours. And defense five, I should. Correct. Fives for fishers. One, one. Um. I'm going to do a mind fog on the vicious um, tonight. No. Nope. And then five sparks on the same target. So two hit. Ouch. Yeah. Or not. So two wounds. So six. I rolled that nerve. Nine twice. No. Nope. Um, I'll try and double six the general or whatever I need for the general. Five. Not enough. It's not enough. Combats. I do the hinder charge for my sisters. They're hit on fives. Gone, ladies. It's five. We're vicious. Nope. Not a wound. Not a. They're not feeling like it today, sir. No, sir. Not you. Um. Drop three dice. I'll do nice. Mm. Hits on freeze. Also not feeling like it today. I think defense five for a hero hero. No. Okay, it's two wins. Mm. So then you've got like... A f I don't know why I'm putting it out. <laughs> it's a 10-12 hero. Um, hit on freeze with the knights. Oh, they feel much more like it. Yeah. They are very cross. Right. Oh yes, I think it might be a double one. Anything but a double one. Let's freeze. It's a plus nine. Yeah. Anything but once. That's it. Oh no! Still a cool model though. Um. I'm going to D3 those backwards. The one is a matter, and you just hit your own troop. Boink. Bring it a little bit to do that one now. That. Like that. The best speed nine. Uh, my knights aren't. Knights are eight. Yeah. And the nice is nine. Correct. Do you have a turn free? Okay, so I have lots of choices in this turn. More choices than I thought I had, actually. 
Um, so, on the bottom, which is kind of the critical part, I looked at what I had, and I think Rich, um, he stepped back his cavalry after attacking, because I think he was just conscious to try and keep them out of range. However, if my... I mean, they are sharpness fanatics, but it's 15 attacks on threes. Crush one, max crush one, right? So threes and fours. So th I'm probably not going to kill those cavalry, especially inspired. So I think stepping them back was overcautious. Because what he's done now is he's given me the chance to back them up. So I've backed up my sharpness uh, infantry. And you can see I put a little base there to show where Nias would land. Because actually Nias on his own doesn't kill them. And I've got a second regiment there as a backup. So what I've done is kind of given a, a slightly obvious trap to say to Nias, Go on and you charge me if you want. Um, and then and then you die to two regiments of fanatics, and then your cavalry can deal with one, and I can fight. So, you know, it evens the playing field a little bit. Um, and um, critically, that, that regiment can also step back out of the woods if I need to, to hide themselves. So that, that's been good. Um, happy with how that's kind of stepped out, so the cavalry are out of range, but Nias isn't. So only one thing charging. If you've got multiple things coming towards you, and you can put your your stuff so only one of the things and you're a thing you're not particularly scared about can charge sometimes they will take that bait and you can take one element out of the equation early by counter charging but uh, it's not always a wise thing to do but in this case i think it's the best i can do in the situation that i've got it also keeps them at bay a little bit my um my winged instigator does charge into the phoenix behind that tower there you can't quite see it but let me tell you he definitely does and then in the middle, I have a lot of choices to make about what to charge. So um, let's go to the other view. Let's go to the other view and I'll show you. You can see a bit closer. Zoom in. Zoom in view. Um, so at the top, I take on the, the scouts with one regiment because these got one regiment there in the woods, which will charge me, then hit me on four. So I think I'm okay there because he hasn't got any crushing on them. He's got a bane chance on there. But um, I take one regiment fanatics hindered into the Ogre Palace Guard, which is his scariest unit blocks them up because I can't remember why but he put his um, wizard right out here in the middle I think maybe he bane chanted or something onto the scouts onto my horde I can't have those tiny troop of scouts obviously um, so I take after Aminari a lot of Aminari I take my general wing beast into that wizard because if I kill him and overrun I overrun into the flank of the palace guard which is cool but even if I don't by sitting there you can see everything's a little bit blocked up I think he's going to struggle to get both regiments into my general wing beast. Even in the flank, uh, he's got a decent nerve, and I've got lots more regiments in the back. I kind of think it puts me in a relatively happy position. Um, even if he you know, doesn't kill it and gets countercharged, I've then got the chance to mop up the troop of scouts that the horde is engaged with. Um, and then kind of position myself better for the counter charges, especially given that his really scary stuff on the bottom is all kind of held off. So yeah, now let's have a look at my turn. Oh, for concealed. See a little corner there. Right, come on, bolt thrower. You're the one. Fives. Oh, Shut up. <laughs> Shut the front door. Last. I have to stop that now. Uh, four, three, four, five. Why are we on my clock? Because I was on your clock. You were on my clock. Is that how it works? Yeah. I took some time back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, loads of wounds. I'm defense four. It's four, so five wounds. Five wounds, nice. That was good. It was. He's crossed because his mate got beaten yeah. up. You can only just fragment it back in a minute now, I believe. Hopefully. I've got Bane Chart on this prick over here. Yeah. Could have used that. No, I didn't. I'm going to cheat and move her the other way <laughs> over there. Yeah, that's cool. Why not? Because um, I forgot that she has a spell. Anyway, she's going to bench on them. Okay. She's going to miss it now to punish me. Hey! Main on each palace guard. Um, right. Uh, Nerf, on your... These guys, what's that? Yeah, so double six kills them. So ten to waver. Yeah, that's what I want. An eight. Okay, you're gonna iron resolve down to three. Nice. Is nice. Is nice. Um, let's see the time was again. Mm. So these guys aren't inspired. Are right. these guys inspired? These ones are yeah, very inspiring. Yeah. It's very inspiring. Yeah. Oh, it might be. That's nine today. Isn't nah, it? it's not. You've measured it. Yeah, you can you can measure it with your tape measure. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, let's do the uninspired ones first. Cool. Uh, let's not. Let's do the Gemini on the Wizard first. Cool. Two, four, five, six, seven. Come on, General. On your big bird. Threes. That's exactly what I said would happen. <laughs> One less than I said would happen. Incredible. Four. That's four hits. And then twos. See those ones. There's no ones in there. Four wounds. Four wounds. One more than I said would happen. It's very exciting. He's a 10 12, though, so I need eight twice to kill him. Okay. No problem. It's an eight. Yep. It's a double one. <laughs> oh, boy, I guess he used the graphic. Yeah, silver linings. Well, it's more work for me to have to put it on, though, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm glad. I'm right. glad you rolled it. Hmm. Let's see these guys who've got. I, put, I don't know how many attacks they. Twenty-five is it? It sounds like twenty-five. Men at arms. It looks like twenty-five, doesn't it? They're foot guard, not men at arms. Mm. Foot guard. Twenty-five and three and three. Here we go. That's a lot of threes. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy. Mm. I'm generally quite a happy person. Yeah. Just not when you're playing against me. Mm. Always happy playing. Two, three, many. I put that as many. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen wounds. Fourteen. They are devastated. They you are. Can roll that double one again. They look pretty devastated. Yeah. That would be funny if it was the one. <gasps> it's double six. <laughs> it's the opposite of a double one. We killed something. Yay. Uh, yeah, I was just over. Let's be like we are. After all that chat about overrunning. Well, I didn't do the thing with the dragon, so if I overrun, I could potentially. I can't get flanked by them because they're not going to fit. If I overrun lots and don't size it there, I could get flanked by them, though, so I'll stay. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, then that'd be fun for me. All right. Um, what next? These guys. So we must have 12 if they're 25, I'm going to yeah. guess. Tended, so you're hitting on fours. Fours, and then threes. Ooh. Yes, you did say this would happen, so it's fair. I'm going to... Okay. That was a... <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I have no idea, Steve. I hit it so hard, but it, <laughs> it might have been Just a roll, hit. Roll it again. Roll that one again. Right. Oh. Uh, well, that's bad. It's four hits. Three hits. Three wins. Three wins. I'm up to four, though. <laughs> Tap the thing and turned all my hits into misses. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I hit now. That's pretty funny. Five. Um, Waver? Nine. No. I'm resolved. Mm. Are they 10, 12? Yeah. That's sick, isn't it? Sick for them. Mm. Uh, thanks. The worst berserkers in Kings of War with 15 attacks. And those ones, what does the little sign say? Uh, fishes. Fishes. So fours followed by fours. Fours, fours followed by threes with fishes. Three viciouses. Nice. Two, four, six, seven wounds. Seven. There he goes. Eight wavers in. Now I've rolled a seven. So I'm resolved down to six. And then we've got the little instigator over there. Oh, yeah. He's hitting the phoenix behind the tower. Threes. Four hits. And, and then three. crush one. So twos. Yes. Four, Four wounds. wounds. Running out of wound dice. Double six. Nope. Does not align with all. And that's the end of my go. It is your turn. This. Okay, it's kind of a mixed bag for me there. But, um... The general not, you know, killing the wizard or whatever is fine because, like I said, he's, he's blocking stuff up. 
Um, massive amount of wounds on the Ogre Palace guard, so that, that was really good. Not killing the scouts was kind of not so good. But, um, basically he's decided to kind of uh, to, to smash into that uh, vicious uh, berserker unit, so this uh, horde has taken a hindered flank onto them, so it's now hitting on fives, um, and the palace guard in the front, so they're definitely going to get smashed. Um, and that means that he's probably going to use the horde to shield off against the the ogres to protect them. But I've got lots of things that can do nasty things to the ogres now. And plus, I've got three or four units that could multi-charge that horde. So I do have the potential to take it off all in one. Um, he's been, again, quite cautious at the bottom here with his, um, his trio of fuss stuff coming around this building. Possibly because there's two Berserker units there, which is scary, but he could have pushed forward a lot further, I think, with this. Because what he's done is given me the opportunity to to um, to, to, to shield him off for a bit longer, because they're still quite far back. Particularly the cavalry, uh, speed 8, uh, which means they're not going to get into combat until another two turns. Like this turn, and then the following turn. So I do have the opportunity to, to, to start pushing things off, or protecting from them. Um... So yeah, it's kind of in the balance, really, to be honest. There's, it's very much, we're going we're to see what shakes down in the centre right up here. Um, and I just need to really, you know, win those combats and try to shield off the knights and nias down the bottom for as long as possible. It's uh, exciting, isn't it? Hey, yeah. It's exciting for me. Maybe? Let's have a look. Aim chart. Can't bane chant because you hit me, so I'm going to do a heal three on my foot guard. Mm. Once with three wounds. Nope. Bad times for everyone. Yeah. But mostly you. Especially me. I'm going to start off with some combat. Let's do my Phoenix against your Fanatic Instigator. Yeah. Hits on threes. Oh, that's one hit. Defense of your. Three. So twos. You've got damage. At least you're not flying. I probably can't do anything to you. Is it a dash 14? Okay. Dash 12? Dash 13? Dash 14? Something? Yeah. Dashes. Uh, 24 dice on fours with elite for these foot guards against your okay. general. I'll come back for the ones. Not many misses in there, mate. You come, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Are you coming in to inspect me? Do I am, not? yeah. I'm just checking, keeping you honest. Yeah. Someone's got to. Okay. Crush one. Please. Fours again, please. That's a lot of dice. Feels like a lot of dice. And that is a lot of ones. Three, eight. six, eight. He's on nine. I think he's a 15-17, but I'll have to look on the sheet because I don't know. Hello! He's a 14-16. He's on 9, so he's a seven, 7 twice. So that's a 5. That's not it. He is a waiver, though. Yeah? So it's 7 and 5, right? Yeah, 9, nine, plus, nine, nine plus, plus 5, five. is 14, so it's a waiver. Oh. I feel like he should be more than 14-16. Okay. Let's put some wounds on him. I was expecting him to die. I'm absolutely delighted he hasn't. Are you? Yeah. I'm less delighted. Well, not being able to make the charge probably yeah. screwed up your plan. I thought he was going to get double charged, which was going to ruin him. But um. Does he have, like, the special rule? Which special rule? No, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> Just inspiring. In Indomitable Will. Oh, that's the foot guard I've got that. Uh, okay. I did give it to them, but I haven't put the tokens on. All the foot guard, by the way, have got indomitable will. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Sorry, I should like on that. round three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should have mentioned that earlier. Oh, by the way, uh, I mean, you've got a copy of the list there. Yeah, never mind. I don't read it. No, uh, I'm going to do my foot guard, the hindered ones in the in flank. No, against your um, against your foot guard. There's going to be a foot guard. Oh, with, over there. Yeah, yeah. four turns to hit. Should probably check this, Steve. Have you got a million fours again? Stop oh. it. Maybe just stop it. Uh, your defense five, aren't you? Yeah. So fours again. It's all right. What goes around comes around. Look at that. Four, three, three. Three wounds. 
And then the sisters are doing it. <clears throat> so we can't make, we promise no singing. <laughs> no singing. So pause. How come the sisters have got nearly as many attacks as the... Because they're a troop. Troop of infantry. Um, oh, yeah, they only had three less attacks, didn't they? Two less attacks. Two less attacks. Um, five with vicious. Ouch. Four? Four. So they are on seventh. Um, and... Of course I know what they are. Well, they're, they're rallied twice, so they are 16-18. That's a five. Seven and five is not enough. Okay. Let's see. They're okay, Mom. This is the counter charge from the ogres. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, uh, I mean, you can't really listen to it, but I mean, these guys are not not feeling great. Threes. And then twos. Yeah. They may be regretting some of their fanaticism right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. Nice. They're on 16, so it's a double one already with a flank. Anything but double one, I mean, twice. And again, please. First fanatics are down. And hopefully next time I play, they might actually be the correct unit. No, I don't believe it. Mm. I also don't believe it. I'll put these back in the cupboard. Where they belong. With their Night Stalker brethren. I had to choose between, am I going to sell my Night Stalker or am I going to sell my Orcs? I think I might sell my Orcs. If anyone would like to buy <laughs> 3,000 points of Rift Forge Orcs, not including a shrine. I was going to say without a shrine. Without a shrine because it exploded. I might be persuaded to paint a shrine. If they give me 600 quid, I'll paint them a shrine. One shrine for 600 quid? No, you get the rest of the army as well. 600 quid for your armies. It's incredible. What do you think is best painted winning army that is? Multiple best painted winning. Just people like you. That's true. <laughs> Just fronts everywhere mm. apart from that guy. Obs. Who's going to. Turn around. Not my combat. I want to clock it. Yeah, over to you for your thoughts. Oh, is it time four? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I do is remember that I've still got a horde up the top of the table, up here. I certainly forgot that last time, anyway. But, um, and they, so they move around because this is control. It's now turn four, so I've got two turns. I can get them to an advantageous position. So essentially, I give up this uh, kind of far right corner for the chance to bring them round uh, in case I need them later on. They're not very effective, but they are. Unit strength three. Um, <clears throat> then I spend some time and eventually decide that I take the monarch, um, one of my regiments of uh, foot guard, men at arms, whatever they're called, um, and the uh, elite fanatics into the horde. I, I hope that's enough to take it off with, but it's also the best that I can do because I think my other regiment is wounded, quite heavily wounded now, up the top near the rocks here. Um, it needs help. So they go back into the scouts that they just can't kill. Uh, and my horde flanks the regiment of foot guard. So I think it might be hindered. We'll see. But that's a lot of attacks to go into them. And so hopefully that'll take them out and put me in an advantageous position. The uh, Right in the middle here, you can't see from here, but the general is still there, wavered. Uh, he can't disengage. He can't get out of there. And so he's just going to take another round of attacks. Um, critically over here, don't forget the Ogre Palace Guard. Very, very punchy unit, but on seven wounds now. So my instigator ignores the Phoenix. I decide to allow him to shoot me for another turn. Uh, and instead, the instigator goes into the Palace Guard. I'm hoping that his six attacks on threes and fours is enough to waver or maybe even kill those Palace Guard. And then in what I think is move of the match for me. <laughs> and, but I didn't plan it. Uh, it just happened to be cool. Over here, this regiment, this is the Sharpness Fanatics, my scariest unit, and that was what was holding off all of this stuff down here, Nias, the Knights, and these Gur Panthers. I realize um, it's under two and a half inches uh, in the woods, so I literally just step out of the woods. I step out of the woods um, and just <laughs> leave him to kind of trundle forward. So this Elite Fanatics here 
if I don't kill this foot guard, is going to get charged. But the, the horde rather it isn't. Uh, it's probably going to get charged by the Gur Panthers and maybe nice, but it doesn't really matter because then I've got these sharpness fanatics next turn. So it seemed like a pretty cool move to do because it just leaves these three units down at the bottom with nothing to do. Um, so yeah, I really uh, really liked that. Um, but I need to roll well now. So let's see. Uh, let's see if I can. Hit me. Okay. So fanatics. Yep. Yep. Can the bolt throw see anything? It's not in combat. Oh. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Do this if it's going. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Turn. Shoot down that wall. I can move as well, though. You can. All right. There you go. Boink. Wow, well, great piece of blocking train that is. I mean, I know. Good design. All right. Um, that's it. Right then. What's got inspiring? Nothing I'm attacking. Okay. Let's do the Sisterhood Scouts first. Okay. Let's go. Uh, so we have 12 attacks on threes and, and threes. threes and threes. Five? Five. Put me on eight. So you need a four twice. So seven. And eight. Why do I kill something? I can't tell you what a relief it is on turn four to finally have killed something. Well, my second troop of uh, Sister has <laughs> Yeah, I've killed that as well. That's true. Yeah. God. Oh, you're killing most of my army. Here, well, 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 that's the kind of the plan, to be honest. Uh, the horde in the flank is 50. Let's do that. It's, this is 30. So we're on fours, followed by fours. Hmm. I should have been chatting these guys. Probably. I think you've got enough attacks then. That's my thought process. This is the first 30. That's quite a decent amount of fours. And a good number there as well. A good number. Mm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven from the first lot. Nice. They're on fifteen. So that's already a nerve, right? They're on fourteen. Yeah. Okay. So let's just roll their nerve. And if I roll the one, then I can roll the rest of it. Oh can you? Yeah. Double okay. six. How many double sixes have you? Two. Okay, that feels better. Does it? Mm. Rageous oh, fragment, that was worth Shut up. <laughs> Do you miss Elohi right now? Elohi, you're pretty good. Yeah. Tell you who I am missing. Who is it? Julius. 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 Yeah. Ah! Like that. Something like that. Something like that. You can flank me with your GoFanders if you like. Yeah. Take a Pathfinder GoFanders. Yes. Cool. That's cool. Um, my turn four? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, sir. Let's do the uh, big dragon first. Monarch of the Glen. Might need two I'm turn a bit further. Okay. Uh, dragon's got ten attacks on threes and twos. Using Mrs. Lowe's. And the twos. Two, four, six, seven from the dragon. Nice. Wow, that never happens. And we've got 12 from the red in the middle. Threes. Okay, and then threes. No, and then fours. fours. One, two, three. It's one, oh, ten. Oh. Oh yeah, dear, this is not enough. Oh, you'll be all right. It's, um, these are elite, aren't they? These guys are elite. So threes with elite. This is a lot. All of my elites, in fact. 
front stuff. So it's twos. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine. Nineteen. Okay, that was enough. No? Uh, I think they're 23, I'll double check. A roll 22. Of five. Is enough? Yep. And six. Oh, you got him. <laughs> well, not me when I rolled not enough damage, but there you go, did Fanatics are, are Fanatics. Are. I was thinking about reforming. I could back him up or I could sidestep him. If I sidestep him, we should have the palace guard first, I guess. My dead palace guard. Oh, they're, they're going to be hindered, aren't they? They're hindered, wavered. That's the plan, yeah. That. So sidestep the monarch edge to oh, just into my own unit. Okay. It's interesting. Not sure that's the right thing to do. We'll see. Uh, so the uh, fanatic instigator going to kill some palace guard on his own. Yeah, he is. Threes and fours. Should have been chanted him. Oh, he's not. It's three. Okay, it's gone way Two. Gone eight damage. Nice and high, please. The four. Twelve. Find myself down to seven. Ah. Maximum sad times there. It was otherwise a respectable turn. It's your form. Yeah, because there's nothing wrong with that turn, was there? It was okay. It's done okay. I think my reform was a bit off, but we'll see what happens. I'm trying to see if I can fit my Gaia Panthers in the fight. Right, well, I didn't kill uh, the Ogre Palace guard, but everything else. Anyway, I, I, the first thing that happens is the Gaia Panthers at the top, um, who have been running away from my militia mob, um, spot the flank of my wounded unit and uh, decide to go and have a play with that, which is fair enough, I would do. Um, they will get eaten by the militia mob next turn though, so that's nice. Um, and then, um, turns out I'm not very good at uh, judging or measuring and actually all of, <laughs> all of the fast units at the bottom actually were able to come into the Fanatics unit that had just finished off his horde. Um, which spent an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out how to get the cavalry in unhindered. But unfortunately, their base is so wide that Forrest was in an irritating place, the wall was in an irritating place, so in the end, he decided to put the cavalry across the wall. Nias gets to go in unhindered, and the Gur Panthers goes to get, uh, get to go in a very irritating blocking position right here. So my Sharpness Fanatics, who can see everything, and everything is annoyingly an arc, uh, can't... Uh, get past those Gur Panthers. I'm going to have to attack the Gur Panthers. Okay. Um, the Ogre Palace Guard in the middle here go into uh, the Foot Guard Regiment. And then the other two regiments of Paladin Foot Guard, his Foot Guard, um, are still stuck behind my incredible general who's just sitting there not dying. Um, and so they just charge him from every which way to try and wipe him out. So yeah, it's a critical turn. Let's see what dies. Nope. I don't like those white dice. Okay. Cool. Movement phase done. By the looks of it. Into my shooting phase. Bane Chan or Mind Fog. It would have been nice if we had to Mind Fog that guy, but I kind of had to. I'm going to Bane Chant my Ogre Palace Guard. Okay. Yay! Yay! Uh, oh, I saying gay. Boo! Because <laughs> you pretended to be a nice guy, Steve. Yeah. Um, yeah, then, it's time for the actor over. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it better than I was last time. I'm going to do a heal three on my Ogre Palace Guard. Sure. This guy. Ooh, movement phase. Um, heal three on the Ogres. Two back. What? On the five. Mm. Then heal five on the same target from the Phoenix. Um, another two back. I always forget that they've got 
phoenixes have got heal. Because yeah. it just shoots with them all the time. Back down to three. Okay. I'm Bane Chanted. Is he very inspiring? Yeah. So is the dragon, though. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just... he's definitely in. Cool. Let's, let's start with this. Yeah, fun. yeah, the combat on these, uh, the flank that I missed. Yeah. Much sadness. Hopefully I don't miss it. Mm. Boz. That's a good roll, Steve. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. what a surprise. It's about 11 4 isn't it? Mm. Six, bang on average. Fives? Fives with Vicious. I don't want to talk about it. How many? One. What? Oh, that's all right. You're on eight. You're on eight. <laughs> um, Ten to kill. They're not rallied, are they? Oh, they're not rallied. Uh, oh, that's a nine. Oh, that's dead. They're not rallied. Go on. Should I just do it again? Yeah. Oh, swapping dice. Eight. Eight, dead. eight, sixteen. It's uh, four, sixteen, dead. Oh, yes. They're dead, Dave. Hmm. That's what happens when you make a mistake. So sad about that. Oh, that's the one I finished last night. Oh, happy days. Mm. Oink. Um, make sure I don't make a mistake here. Stuff's gonna be, yeah. I think stuff's gonna be there. Okay, still can't see me. You can't see me. I'll stop the John Cena references. And I have no go. idea who John Cena is. He's a wrestler, right? Well, so much for not knowing who he is. All right, um, right, let's start with the knights. So the knights are hindered, so they're hitting the cause. Which ones? Uh, so the knights on horses. Oh. On these uh, fanatics here. Yeah. Got it. I got a thunder one. So you defense three or four? Three. Anything but? There's the but. So there's five damage there. Okay. Let's see what knights can do. Mm. He hits on a three. And then he's wounded on twos. So that's five damage from knives. Ten. Five to kill. Twice. Once. Nice. Nice. Oh! oh hello! That's good. Oh dear. Well, that My... changes things a bit, doesn't it? That's a bit, yeah. I was feeling happy about this game, not feeling happy about it anymore. No. No, I feel sad. I'm going to put these back in the cupboard where they belong. Chance not table over. Mm. Um. Oh dear. I don't know what to do now, though. I wasn't expecting to kill him. Mm. Relatively safe. Mm. Apart from, like, say, a flank there, which I feel like is blocked. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Um, let's see if my ogres can. Uh, I need to do my ogres first. Fours and twos. Yeah. This is critical, I would say. Fills it. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of ones. Right there, Link. Oh, what? No, imagine. That would, really, would have been great, wouldn't it? I was like, what? How's your heart rate, though? Yeah. <laughs> There's a three there. Is there? Yeah. Is that a cheers to a gritted tea? No. Not at all. <laughs> oh! So it's five, five oh, that's appalling. Mm. 
Double six. Is that, with, is that with brutal? You can kill them then. Double oh. six twice. It's not. 14, they're okay. So 16, 18. Because of the rally. Because of the rally. So. Do the hindered 12 in the front. And the general. Yeah. Mm. It's on fours, isn't it? With a leap. Why are you in the hindered ones first? I don't know. Not the hindered ones in the flank. Doubled. Um, fours again. Okay. That's why. Five damage there. Uh, he's on. He's uh, he's nerve already. Okay. Is he devastated. Oh. Or no. mm, just roll it. See what happens. And again. My nose twice have turned off on me. Why would I say that just before I roll? We did very well. Oh, cool. Okay. I wonder. I don't fancy that horde in the front. I don't fancy you either. Be more subtle than that. Mm. Um, okay. Feel like that could be a lot worse. All right. So first thing is that the sharpness fanatics down here at the bottom have to go into Dirk Hunter. So we do. What was really cool is that he just ignored them. He's put. He's turned. He's left his cavalry and Julius facing the center. So once I kill those Go Panthers, that sharpness cavalry is going to have that sharpness. Uh, going to have a lovely time, um, maybe. Uh, at the top, the um, militia mob kind of move around because they couldn't see anything. But I wanted them to be in a position. This is turn five for turn six. They can come and straddle that back line so they can contest his two point area. Uh, at the back, um, the uh, mini Julius figure, which actually it's, it's, it's an instigator, the flying instigator, right? But it's the Julius miniature scaled down uh, because it's a 3 STL now. He goes into the priest at the back uh, to stop him healing. And then in the middle, we get. Uh, so the horde goes into one of the uh, paladin foot guard. The monarch goes into the flank of um, the ogres palace guard and then the other my foot guard into the front of them so just taking out the ogres because what it allows to do is that the monarch can then block this other paladin foot guard uh, leaving my horde to do uh, fun things uh, like straddle zones and um, this paladin foot guard this one down the bottom that's gone into the front will block the cavalry and nice because I'm on the hill so I'm nice and tall allowing the sharpness for so that's my plan I don't know if he's still got a phoenix at the back there which isn't very nice but looking at unit strength I was just I don't like control because it means I have to do maths at the end of the game. And by the end of the game, I'm tired and I can't do maths, like adding up two and three. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what it makes. Um, trying to work out logistics of what can fly where. Because his Phoenix is unit strength too, so he can, get, he can fly into zones and do nasty things. My Monarch is also unit strength too, but it's probably going to die. So, uh, hmm. Fun times. Let's see what happens. Yeah, millions with them. All right, Bane Chant. Oh, I'm going to miss Bane Chant anyway. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, both throw on Nias first. No! And What's take this? It. Like doubles? Fives. Uh, just well, that wasn't the main chant, really. <laughs> main chant. That's better. Just. Just. Mm -hmm. Does it say Bane by any chance? No, it says Wavered. <laughs> Mine says Weakened. Weak. Wavered. Bane. There you go. Um, let's do this guy in the back, because I hate him. On fours. Fours and threes. Good start. Wow. No, nothing. That was not spectacular from Mini Julius there. Oh, that was really poor. <laughs> it was really poor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Um. Uh, sharpness fanatics on threes because we're hindered. Threes and twos. How many ones? Many. Many, 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 many. 
think it's going to be enough to take out some wounded Gur Panthers. Soon, my spikes too soon. Eight. They are on eight damage. And a six. And an eight. <laughs> Um, the two yogas then. So these guys uh, that you charged last turn, twelve on threes and fours. Right, it's a lot. That is a lot. That's kind of normal for threes, I guess. Five? Five. Back up to eight. And then twenty threes and twos. Just me a bucket ton of ones, please. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. No. One. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve. wounds from the dragon. I am on twenty wounds. Very cross today. And again, because of wind spiring. <laughs> nice to actually kill something, so that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Turn. Ah! Oh, I managed to catch the banner. Oh no. So, so from here to essentially here, maybe, what do you reckon? Not really, not really. What are you trying to do? Oh, protect from the... Oh. Uh, here. Mm -hmm. And here, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know where they were. I was really... My plan was that I turn like this to protect her from being charged by him. And like this to make it a front and a. front and not flankable. Is that the best one to write with? I, I can't see that corner. It's go. under the corner at the minute. Okay, cool. Oh, that's okay. He's kind of like that. Okay. It's... Yeah, close enough to me. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, and then Mr. Big Horde, Big Balls themselves. Excuse me? Big Balls themselves. You heard me. Um, I need these to survive. Mm. So they might. Fours and fours. Yeah. So you're gonna do you're gonna do seven damage to me. Maybe. Then roll ten twice to kill me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Oh dear. Well it's not looking great, buddy. For who? For me. Oh for me. It's looking great for you. Yeah, yeah. It's about half. That's right, you just convert all of these. You'll be fine. Nothing. No, how about not? How about none of them? How about two, three wounds? Three wounds, that sounds good. Double six waiver. That's appalling. Oh. That's fine. So I'm going to arm myself two of those away. <clears throat> it's annoying, isn't it? Nah, it's fine. Um, all right, uh, it's, uh, it's your turn five. Oh, okay. Right, so... Things are looking a bit shady now because um, not killing that regiment at the top is, is particularly poor. It means that my horde gets triple charged. So I get um, two Paladin Foot Guard in the front and a Gur Panther in the flank. Uh, very bad. Um, and then um, at the bottom, right here, so he ignores my Monarch because why wouldn't you? The Cavalry, they do take a hindered charge off the wall into the Foot Guard on the hill. Um, unfortunately, and then I get Nias 
in the flank. I realised I called him Julius last time I... Uh, last turn. It's, it's nice. Nice in flank. So, I do have my sharpness fanatics down the bottom here. However, um, he backs this phoenix away. You can see the rulers to back it away from the monarch. And then he's still within 18 inches. So he's going to fight. He's going to shoot that with fire sparks. See if he can take it off. I might survive that. And I've got this uh, militia mob at the top here. But yeah, I yeah, he needs to fluff his dice. That's what needs to happen. Good ones. Um... So I'm going to give it a, an Aegis Fragment for these. Okay. Shoot and face. Mm. Bane Chant to um, the non-hindered one. Got it. Yep. Double Bane Chant. That's good. Um, heal three on the same unit. Oh, I forgot my regen. Am I allowed to do my regen? Mm. So heal that one way away. Regen two. Oh, I've got them both. Hey. And fire sparks mm -hmm. on the fanatics. Fours. Five hits. Okay. So defense three, aren't you? Correct. Three damage. All right. Can I do anything to them? No, they're 15, aren't they? That's 15. Double six kills. Twice. <gasps> <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. No. Um, okay. Is it shattering? No, it's not. It can be. <laughs> <laughs> just for today. <laughs> We're going to be shattering just because I want to. Uh, if that's okay with you. Okay. Well, I've come over really tired. Oh, oh sorry, man. It's not your fault. No, no. It's, it's one o'clock in the morning. That's a problem. Wake up. Okay, good. I'm going to start with the Go yeah, Panthers. Yeah, with your little little Panther buddies. Yeah, so starting off on fours. Five hits there. Huh? Wounding on... Fives? Fives with Ficious. Got one. One wound? One wound. They were relevant. Here we go. It begins. And then this is Freeze with Elite. And Crush 2. How many? One. All about one of them, so that's nine hits. Mm. Crush two. Yeah. Threes again. So that's six wounds there. Down to seven. And then these were hindered, so it's fours with elite. Any three misses so far? Oh, that's all of the, mm. all of the wounds. Nice. Good work. And these are just crush one, though. And fours? Fours. Touch and go. That's five damage there. They're on 12. Okay. They're 23, 25. Good six. Good wait for Look, that's a five. Hooray! I'm still in the game! Indeed. Okay. What are we doing? This feels like 18 dice. What's this? 16 dice. This is a knight. Knights on fours. Fours. And fours. fours. Oh, these guys are going to die. I hope so. Well, actually, there's not many from the knights. Five hits there. Five wins? Four wins. Four wins. They're on nine. And then 14 attacks on threes. Threes and threes. Oh, nice. Come on, stop. You missed. <laughs> Mate, he's missed. He's missed a lot. So he's hit five times. He's still bitter that he's not Julius. Yeah, I know, right? Aren't we all? Mm. Four damage. Four damage. Uh, they are on 13. I've run out of dice. Uh, they are a 16, 18. Do I need a five? It's a seven. And again. It's a four. It's a waiver. I've got to use my Aegis Fragment. Well, not Aegis Fragment. What is it called? You know what it's called? No? No, I Indomitable don't, Indomitable Will. 
I've paid all them points. All these games, I've never I know. used it. We're wavered. But now I'll ignore that because we're not wavered anymore. Do I get to recharge Nitus? Would be uh, the most delicious. Possibly, thing. yeah. Oh, I need a. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a... oh I got a recharge Nitus! It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap I'm going to just delightedly <laughs> take like that. Okay. <laughs> I tell you, see your trap when I take it, and I fight for the dragon on them. Okay, on that's home? good. Oh, nice. yeah. Two. Oh, I'll just knock my microphone off. There's going to be a rear charge on twos and fours. Maybe threes. That'll be fun. All right, so I fully, fully admit, I'd given up. Uh, and then I called into life him fluffing his dice, and he did. So um, some delicious charges going on. So the militia mob right at the top here rear charge the Gur Panthers. Down at the bottom, the sharpness fanatics rear charge Julia. I mean Agnias, which mm, feels great. Uh, the uh, the monarch goes into the flank of the knights, and then I use Indomitable Will and my foot guard here go into the front of the knights. And then my horse. So I, I I try to decide which one to go for, but I decide um, in the end that. My uh, horde of foot guard here go into this Paladin Knight Regiment because I need... I'm not going to take them off. I'm not, I'm not doing very well with them. I've not got enough crushing in. Uh, so they go into this left-hand Paladin foot guard regiment and my Fanatic Instigator goes into their rear just to have a little bit of damage uh, added. Really, really makes a difference. So with fingers crossed, I should take off enough to manage to not be able to be beaten. Let's see. All right. Let's bolt throw your knights. Oh, murder. Bane Charm. I'm really pleased I shot one of those off. Yeah. Or Bane Charm. Yeah, no, yeah, it worked very well. These guys, this horde. Oh no, this Bane Charm. Yeah, it's how many attacks? 15, 30, 45 attacks on twos. And fours should kill Nias. And if I can roll fours. No, but they, they need to die more. A lot more. No, Bane Charm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think these survive without the Bane Charm. Yeah. Oh, actually, you got the guy in the back. Guy in the back. Um, right then, it's exciting. Um, I said that three times so far. It is. It was making me feel like it's sarcasm. No, it's not. I'm <laughs> genuinely excited again. I believe you. I was, I'd given up. I was like, oh, oh well, I played well. But right, let's kill Nias if we can, because killing Nias is always worth it. 45 attacks. Go for it. On twos. Show me fours. those ones. This is 30. Here you go. <laughs> I'm just showing you the ones. <laughs> right, whoa. Right, a few there. A lot more dice to go up. Yeah. And then fours. Is that <laughs> he's hoping to be? It's not. It's not. A bit. It's like two o'clock on a Saturday. Uh, two o'clock. Is it three o'clock? It's like ten to four. Oh my god. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Off the first lot. Ten. That's all of them. That's all you get to roll, Steve. Mm. And here's fifteen more. I don't think you're going to do this. It's all right. God, that was a bit mean. Twos. I'm glad it's twos because there's another one. Whoops. And fours. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 wounds. 17. Okay. It's not quite devastated. But he is very wounds. unhappy. <laughs> yeah. He's not devastated, but he is disappointed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You should have that as so a status effect. Disappointed. Yeah. Seven. Oh, it. Uh, I get to say it again. It was good nice to see you. It's starting to be a catchphrase. I'm going to make a neat graphic for it. To see you, good nice. Where am I? Look at me remembering this scenario. Hmm. Well, I don't want you to phoenix. I suppose I'll just claim this segment then. Oink. All right, 
obviously it's a rear charge because you've oh no oh no it's okay it was oh no it's not magnetized i've genuinely pulled it out no i haven't it's a magnet so cool get back here i'm just gonna let you panic over it <laughs> instead of just being like no it's fine to explain what happened <laughs> i knocked his model off and uh, they're all magnetized because he's a legend all right um knights in the front of the horses 12 attacks on threes followed by threes threes followed by fives uh th four wounds oh, that's a good start. nice and the dragon is 20. it's a monarch uh threes and twos which he has oh, shit, bed as usual you've got enough attacks to get through that though mm, twos that's better Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's me on fifteen. Okay. Number one. Twice. Once. And Twice. And again. This game's okay. easy when you just delete my stuff. Yay! It's a very unusual feeling. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't happen over over much. Um You can continue to take stuff up to more like fluffy units. fun lists. Yeah. Yeah. So it's ATS, okay. Um it's gonna sidestep this unit that way. Which way? Towards you. Cool. So it hits my horde. Ah, it does it put them halfway? Look at that, beautiful. And then I guess I so will, there's a score on this side because I can choose essentially, okay. but I will probably choose that side depending on what happens in this combat. Yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, does the monarch want to be flanked by a phoenix? He doesn't care about being flanked by a phoenix. Rude. He's also unit strength too. A big side step. It's not going to be able to get in. I don't really want to turn that way because then they get reared by a phoenix, which I wouldn't like. So I'm going to turn like that so I can go over there if I want to in turn seven, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's do the rear charge there. Oh, no, tough. 75 dice. It's not 50, it's 75. All right, let's do this one first. <laughs> it's less dice. Glad we've turned the clock off because uh, I would be timing out right now. 25. It freeze and freeze. No, freeze. Yeah, freeze and freeze. Is that one too many? One too many. That dice honestly committed suicide. It's like that. No, don't roll me. <laughs> that's not even, that's 15. It is, in fact, like that, right? Stupid man. This is why I'm not good at counting, because I'm just not good at counting. Threes and threes. You don't like that? Come a lot of way no. there, aren't you? That's one. What? No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Right. And then six from the little man. Who's still alive? That happens. I just kind of ignored him, haven't I? <laughs> He's only hit two times, that's why I ignore him. Crush one, so threes. Ah, two wounds. Right. Puts me on thirteen. What's enough? So fifteen, seventeen. Four to kill? Indeed. Eleven? I am inspired. And there you have it. <laughs> that, that feels really good, Steve. <laughs> mm. Oh, so I'm going to iron resolve too, by the way. Yeah. This is my Aegis fragment. Can I iron resolve this? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's poor. Let's roll 75 dice in the rear of these Girth Panthers. 
Um, I would say double what, but is, cause you're on sixes. I'm on sixes. I've got to roll it. Yeah. Right. This is thirty. There's one, two, three, four to start with. Roll it again. Five. Okay. And then another 15, right? Yes. Must be fascinating watching watching the cat handedly fail to take dice. Oh, out you can speed I'm... this bit up, though. You, you, you're going to imagine that I can't be asked to edit this, so I'm just going to make people watch it. Because if they've watched this far, you're invested, right? Theoretically, or it's on in the background. Or your pain is more likely. Uh, five, six, seven, eight hits. Eight hits. Which is less than you should have. And then defense three. Two, four, five wounds, which is kind of what we said. But we were talking about 50 dice, so. Yeah. Anyway. Five wounds. Okay. You need a six to kill them twice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a four. Four waver. Waver. Ah. Oh. Depends where are okay. they? Where are they on the board right now? I don't know, but I'm going to make you rear charge them again. <laughs> oh, I'm in your big segment. My big segment. Okay. It's your go. Your six? It's in my six. I've got some stuff to kill. Yep. Well, that was kind of depressing. I, I thought I had it, but I couldn't kill a regiment. If you look at the distribution of points now um, in, this, in, in the center, I've got seven. I've got my militia mob. I've got, you know, assuming that he kills my horde, this, this, uh, this uh, foot guard horde, I've got militia mob and I've got um, my monarch and I've got this... Uh, Paladin foot guard unit, which is three, six, seven, eight, and he's got Gur Panthers for one, and then two Paladin foot guard for six, so that's seven. So eight, seven. So if he kills my horde, and then, but the thing is, my Paladin foot guard here on the hill have got six wounds as uh, twelve wounds, so he can shoot them off with the Phoenix. In which case, I've only got five to his seven, and I lose. <laughs> Because I, I don't get that segment. He gets one for the Phoenix, one for his middle. And, uh, yeah, so much sad times. I, yeah, he fluffed his dice. I fluffed my dice. And now it's all to play for. It's all to play for. Might as well be inspiring that guy. This guy's only got heal. Shrimp phase. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Mind fog. On this unit. Yeah. All right. No? Oh, bad time. Indeed. Go on, Em. Phoenix. My Mind fog's not hit once. Mm. I'm never going to bring it again. Mm. Um, yeah, five spikes in on that unit. Okay, pause. And then five. Yep. Three damage. We don't like that. Fifteen. Um, oh, I'm going to put... No, you just fragment here. And heal these. Heal three. One. Okay. okay. Nerve. Fifteen plus seven. That's dead. Fifteen plus six. He's dead. Hmm. I might have thrown away my phoenix to do that. If there's a turn seven. Yeah. Which is 50% chance. I didn't roll enough dice then. Um, okay. This is a hindered charge with elite. I've definitely got too many dice. Uh, yeah. 
If Salah didn't kill those elite guys, it would have made thing a big difference. It would have made a huge difference, right? Um, it's on fours. Not a single three in there. Fours. Completely irrelevant. Fours to win because you're defense five, aren't you? Hmm. Sure am. Eleven wins. Four, five, five. Puts them on 16 wounds, which is more than I would like. Um, freeze with Elite. Many twos. You could cut the tension with a knife. Plus three more. Three more puts them on 19 wounds. They are a 23, 25. I need a six. Is that right? Yeah. Again. Yeah. That's 11. Is that the horde gone? Sad times for everyone, but mostly me. In fact, 100% me. <laughs> Aww. Let's glue that wall. Right. So they can't get past. Nope, that horde is stuck there. In turn seven, I've probably got you, but let's see if there's a turn seven. We need to roll it. Yeah. Those nerve dice have been rolling too well. <laughs> Chuck a random in there. Hey! Turn seven. So absolutely delighted to see a turn seven because I'd lost at the end of turn six. Um, <clears throat> I um, I turn my monarch and move him into my bottom center section. Right, so I offer the phoenix a flank, uh, but it's on a wall, so I'm not really overly worried because then the sharpness finesse has come across straight into the other foot guard. Uh, so these are the foot guard that give out the elite aura. They're very nasty. And then I've got my militia mob in the back who are going to go back into the rear again of the curve panthers. And that leaves him with unit strength three. Uh, so maximum unit strength five. So the best he can do is a draw if somehow he manages to kill my fanatics back. Um, because like, those fanat those uh, foot guard and centers should die. The girl panthers should die. I've sent my uh, instigator into the side of the phoenix so he can't shoot me have to charge and it's just not good in combat so he has one hindered foot guard regiment in the center to do attacks with and uh, hopefully that should be enough let's see then chant fanatics goes um so you can double on that one can i it's like 75 <laughs> 75 more attacks. but we need five the first time though yeah so all right <laughs> Go on, roll it out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, only, it's still it's still six four if the other one dies. Okay, six six. You can draw that one, but I get it. Okay. Um, fanatics then, unbelievable. I just assume they're wave. Yeah, they're not wavered. They're, no. they're steady. I get to do stuff. Oh, uh, they were probably devastated, but. You can go off. Maybe that way. Claim that. Oh, you're you can't. No, I've got that one. So that you can get them this side. Into this corner yeah. for one. And that'll be a draw. Hmm. Sadness. Twos. And then threes. No, twos. In defense, four. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven wounds. Puts them on twenty-two. And again. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you get three, four. 
don't know. <laughs> no idea. I just don't know. Uh, little guy onto the Phoenix. We're continuing his reign of eight. Oh, four attack. Four his sister. Defense like three. Hmm? Defense three. Let's see. So twos. Three wins on the Phoenix. Nine. Double six. Do it. And then that's it. So you. I have a seven. Yep. All right. So we spent uh, an unrealistic time, amount of time trying to work out what could happen, what could make things happen. Um, and essentially it boils down to if he kills my Fanatics regiment in the center with the Phoenix, uh, sorry, with the Foot Guard regiment that come out of the woods into their front and then a Phoenix in the flank, and then he draws because he gets his center segment and I get my center segment. It's one all. However, if he doesn't kill it through some freak of chance, uh, I, I win. So I've saved you the deliberations and the moving things and the moving things around and shifting this this way. Uh, we <laughs> definitely clocked out. Uh, let's just crack straight into the critical roles. Um, we said Ben Chan was irrelevant, didn't we? Uh, less one on the Phoenix. Your defense, right? Mm. He's crushed one anyway. Is he? Yeah. So I'll, I'll do the for guard. Okay. That is. Guess how many hits there are? Uh, three. Oh! -ho! A port. Oh, it was hinder, wasn't it? You never know what you're going to get, folks. One, one wound. One wound down three. Oh, -ho -ho -ho! I might live! That was unprecedented. I didn't expect. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. I was too busy thinking about it. Oh, sorry. I'm um, Oh, this is a flank. Yes, it is. And who's no four four? They're on seven. You need eight twice. Oh. Where they gone? Really past you. Yeah, I, my nerve dies. All right, I'm there. There's an eight. There you go. And again, four. Ah, oh, they live. They live. Which gives me six, two, three, four, five, six. There's a draw there. And I win one nil. Thanks <laughs> to my Phoenix. What a great game! Really okay. enjoyable. Gosh, that was tense at the end. It was, wasn't it? Very close. It was. Ah, that's what happens when you play uh, rubbish Basile in this <laughs> <laughs> against Kingdoms of Meh. And there you go. So uh, very silly game. Lots of double ones. Uh, two not particularly wonderful lists, but uh, it was fun to play. Apologies for the poor cameras. I am working on it. I'm going to try and get some crystal clear, super sharp, top-down views for the next one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so um, uh, what do we what do we learn from this? Roll better. That's what we learned. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Death by Dragons.